I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this compound strength workout. Compound strength is when we take multi-muscle moves and we put them together. It's often upper and lower body at the same time. So when you're working a lot of muscles at the same time and they're all calling for oxygen, that gets your heart rate up and that burns fat. So we're building the lean muscle to boost your metabolism and we're getting that cardio effect so we're burning fat in the workout. If you're looking for that type of workout for women, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go ladies. March it out, knees up, abs tight, swing those arms. Blood flowing. It's time for some compound work. We haven't done compound strength in a long while. Let's bring the knees up and twist in front. Moving into that toning, fat burning part of this eight week series. If you're just joining me, stay with us. Just keep going, okay? Follow the series to the end. Arms forward and back. If you've been with me, you know we started very targeted strength work. We were sculpting those muscles. Now we want to make them tone, even more so. Let's reach out and kick, and really help that fat come down. You've started the fat burning with the muscle building, because that increases your metabolism. Because the lean muscle that we've built requires more calories to exist than fat does. So we've done that, now we're adding heart rate up, okay? So let's grab Medium weights, if you have options, we're going to squat and we'll alternate our press and as we come up from the squat, we're going to lift the same leg in the back. If you're not squatting, here's your move. Just take the squat out, okay? Ready? Get ready. Here we go. Squat, press and leg raise. Other side, squat, sit back, press, raise. So right away you can see upper lower body. Lots of muscles working in this move. The core is working too. Feel it right there. Squeeze the glute, just part, lower part of the core. The opposite part of that is your abs. Most of this workout, I'll be using lighter to medium weight because I'm going to be working on heart rate up. So I want my reps to move along. Okay, taking a side lunge, one side, we're gonna go down, we're gonna come down, pull the weight up and back, kind of like a lawnmower row. Raise with the bent arms and down. And you go back over to that lunge, ready? Step it out with me. Do your lunge, pull the weight in and tight, lift, lower again. Pull it tight. Abs are tight here, feel them work. Right here. Feel it. Focus on the core and the abs. Do all of these moves. Compound work, upper lower body at the same time. What connects to all of that? Your core, right? So, great way to get good core work. My heart rate is up. How about yours? It's a want, it's a goal of this type of work. And rest, a great way to get your strength and your cardio all at once. Whew. Ready to go to your other side? Hope so, me too. Ah, 10 seconds. Roll out your shoulders. What you need to do to feel loose and good. Lots of these pulls and shoulder raises. So, here we go, step it up. Pull the weight up and back. Lift and lower. These shoulder raises, my shoulders get a little tired. I have to focus, I'm not scrunching up like this into my knee, right? Make sure that you are keeping those shoulders down. They're certainly working, but we don't want to hurt the neck. And by relaxing as much as possible in that area, you can really get the shoulder work and rest. Nice job, ladies. All right, one weight. I'm going to hold it in one hand. I'm going to step back 
with the same leg. So back into a lunge, and lift it up on the side. Then the same leg goes back, lift it up. Now you can do this without lunging. All right, here we go. You ready? Or not? And side raise. Compound work. Love it. Chest is up. Lean into this. Don't lean forward. Get that weight in the heel and the back toe. How are your lunges? <laughs> Woo! Don't have to go as deep as I am. I'm actually getting a pretty decent lunch here today. Some days are better than others. All right, we have one of our only lower body compound moves. Side lunge, curtsy. I love them. So you're going to step out, side lunge, and up, and curtsy. Don't go deep. I'll show you that right now. You need to keep protecting those knees. You're still stepping out, coming up. Bring the toe back. Feel that glute engage. Find where you can do this move, and the knees feel good. Here we are working pretty much everything in the lower body. These larger muscles. So even though we're not up and lower at the same time right now, because we've got so much going on, that heart rate comes up because these large muscles need more oxygen, right? And the upper body muscles that are smaller. Push it. And rest. Good job. All right. Other side, and then we'll take a rest, okay? And we'll be one fourth of the way through. Yay, us, right? Stay with me. If you need longer rest, take longer rest. Finish 10 seconds early if you need to in the, the round. You'll see the clock. I've moved the clock up now. I like the lower part of the screen is getting pretty busy. So, up in the corner. Takes some getting used to, but that's a better place to put it. But keep an eye on the clock. If you're just beginning, do these exercises for 30 seconds. Add a 10 second rest to the 20 second rest that we're doing. And you're doing half work, half rest, which is great. We're just starting out. I don't say nothing wrong with modifying. There is something wrong with turning it off, okay? Keep coming with me. Don't turn it off. All right, weight is down, you're on your longer rest between, all right, medium weights, medium weights. You're doing a suitcase swing with a squat, weight comes back, comes up, pull it in, push it out. A lot going on, a lot of abs. This is like a swing through with a kettlebell, similar muscles. Don't bend the knees if you need to protect them, okay? So you can still swing, bring it up, in, and out. Doing the swing through with the bend, sit way back because the chest is coming forward. I want you to make sure the weight is in the heels right here. And as it goes back, work that tricep, lift it, and up, in, and out. A lot of core in this, this circuit here. A lot of core, a lot of abs. And <laughs> rest it. Okay. So, onto a squat with a hammer. So, here's your options side raise with a hammer curl, side leg raise, or we squat and as we come up, we curl. Weight goes down as you squat. So, similar movement, right? To that swing through. There's a theme here. Hammer up. Elbows stay at your waist. You want to have the elbows coming out and making this a swing like that. You want those elbows in, nice and tight. Like this on bicep in the upper body. It's in front of your upper arm. As you come up, squeeze the bum right there. If you're doing the leg raises, you're feeling that. Not a part of that glute, right? Good. 
All right. Whew. I'm gonna go with my lighter weight now. Because we've got some long levers here. So body weights away from the body. Swing it through like we did. Bend or don't. Come on up. Open. Close. So that weight's gonna get heavy. Are you ready? Here we go. Hands are tight. Bring it up. Elbows are slightly bent there. Think about right here. Open, hug a big barrel. By doing that, thinking about hugging a big round thing right here, you're going to incorporate those pectoral muscles in the chest. Here's your breast lift. Non surgical, but when you have stronger chest muscles, everything looks better. So why not? Finish it with me. Come on. And rest. Nice work. So, one of my medium weights. If you're using one set of weights, that's fine. Just switch to one or two. Here we go. We're going to step out wide. Weight comes down. It's kind of like that swing through. Step in. Weight all the way up. Working the upper back, shoulders, core. Here we go. Abs tight. Pull them tight. Step wide. Sit back. And then squeeze. Squeeze the upper body, squeeze the shoulder blades. And that back work right here. Feel it? Almost feels like we're doing a rest, right? We got one more exercise on each side. We can do it on both sides. Coming up, and then we rest. Good. All right, weight is down. Actually, I'm gonna hang on to a weight. Hang on to a weight if you're, you've done these before. Just gonna twist, put it back. Twist, it comes back, squeeze the glute. From here, you're rotating, getting those inner obliques. It's a lot of work. Get ready, deep breath. Here we go, twist it. I want you to think about this move, control it. So right here. Pull that out tight. Squeeze the glute. Twist and pull it tight. Great standing ab move. The weight is just bringing my arms over a little bit more, helping me focus on that twist. Adding a little resistance. I'm going to squeeze the glute right there. Remind myself. How are you doing in these workouts? Are you enjoying this series? Have you been with it from the beginning? Are you just joining us today? Leave me a note on the comments. I'll write back to you. It will take me a few hours or a day, depending on when you put the comment. But I love hearing from you. What did you like? Is there something you didn't like? What would you like to see more of on the channel? This is your channel, so talk to me. Okay, are you ready? On this side, remember the cues. Pull the abs tight, squeeze the glute. Make sure you're getting that nice twist. I'm being careful on my twist. Anybody who knows about my back surgery might be saying, ooh, Robert, should you be doing this? I'm being careful. Really focusing on making it about the ab area. Even though I might not be twisting as much as I used to, I'm pulling that ab tight, so I'm getting the work. Boy, this workout is hard. <laughs> while since we did this cardio type work. So, great job. Halfway through, yay us. Grab some water, we'll do a deadlift, a high shoulder raise. We're gonna add a real light lift just for fun. We are hitting these glutes. So, I'm gonna go medium weight. Cause there's a lot going on here. Deadlift down. As you come up, the leg comes up, the weight comes right up in front. Don't turn those wrists. All right, lead with the elbows. We're gonna alternate legs, so it's down, right leg lifts, down, down. Remember a little bend in your knees right here. It's a flat back, so it's not a squat. You can do this. If you want a little bend, you're gonna walk those knees. The back is a lat.
Almost there, come on. Couple more. Little body work. And be glad that you're working it because you're lapping everyone on the couch. Taking care of yourself. All right. Alternating rear lunge, hammer curl again. So, stepping back with a tap and a curl, or give me that lunge. Let's start going back on the right side. Deep breath. Here we go. Take it back. And up. I'll have to go quickly here because we've got so much going on. So, I'm going to balance and form. And no, because we have so much going on, the heart rate is up. Your body is calling, screaming for oxygen. You don't have to go pound the pavement, hurt yourself. Take you cardio. You can get your strength and your cardio at the same time. That's something you want to do every day, but certainly at this stage, this type of work you want to do. Alright, gonna have your palms facing me. Going back to that deadlift position. Now do a row as if you're holding a bar. Pull it back right to the hip, okay? Down, stand up, bicep curl. Again, a lot going on. Palms towards me, you ready? Deadlift down, five back, weight in the heels. Do a row down there, stand up, curl it. So this row, a little different than the rows, we do when our palms are facing our body on the outside. So it's hitting the back a little differently. Also using the bicep right here. Assisting those back muscles. One more, come on. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's talk about the next exercise. Going back to those curls, you're going to squat or not, all right? Either squat or just do the upper body right here. Press and down. If you're not doing the squat, this is your move. Rotate back and down. Here we go. Take it down and up. Come up. Curl. Press, palms towards me. Curl, palms towards you. A great move to put right here. All these muscles are nice and warm. All the oxygenated blood they like. Asking for more, sure. But we're kind of in that range. We hit our heart rate. We maintain it. And burn fat, right? That's the fun thing. And rest. Awesome job. Okay. We are on number five. Putting the weight down. I'm going my medium weight here. I'm going to do an overhead tricep extension. So it's behind your head, elbows towards me. I know it looks like my elbows are out like here, but they're here. Pushing it up. I'm squeezing those elbows together. As we push the weight, give me a side leg raise. Here we go. Lift it. Ooh, balance. Other side. If the balance becomes too much, take a break. Do four reps, just the tricep. And try your balance again. Your brain adjusts. It says, whoo, we gotta fix things so we can do that move. First couple moves can be pretty, pretty rocky. And then, wow, balance kicks in. That's how you train it. How's the tricep feeling? We're gonna rest. Whew, all right. One more till our major rest. Last circuit. This is a suitcase swing. I want you to bring your feet together. Okay, think about swinging a suitcase and we're going to alternate hands. I want you to twist towards the weight. Look at it, bring it up, switch. Hinge from the waist without the squat if you need to. Ready? Here we go. Swing it back. Look at the weight. By looking at it, adding a little bit of rotation in the core. Lots of core work here, ab work. Just making it even more intense. You don't need a light weight here. Or heavy weight, I'm sorry. And just kind of guiding the move. A little twist from the waist. And those inner obliques. Squeeze right there. Drive your hips forward. 
squeeze the glutes. Bonus in the glute right there. Last one here. And let's start. All right, final circuit is on your mat. Great news, right? Let's come on down. Grab medium weights. I'm going to grab one of my heavy weights. I'm going to start with a tight press to a fly. Now, a couple options. Just starting out here, flat on the floor. Otherwise, bring those knees up. Hold this tabletop position. Ready, press, open to the fly, hug that barrel, bring it down. Weight is touching, open, hug the barrel. Right here, push this weight together, push it together. Bring those muscles in a little quicker. Right here, feel it. Pushing that weight together as you're pushing it up. And a nice contraction. Check the lower body, pull that belly button to the spine. But I was there. I had to take a look at that clock. I was going to look at what's next. Ah, yes, fun. Yeah, there is. Okay, flip it on over. You need one of your weights here. Two options. It's a plank pull through, I call it. I'm going to be in a plank position, either on your knees or on your toes. Weight is outside of the arm. Reach across under the body, pull the weight out, put the hand down. Reach under, bring it across, just like that. From plank. Or from your knees. Ready? So let's pull it over and down. And I'm only going to do a couple like this because my back is still healing for a year. It's going to heal. I don't want to let that happen and <laughs> have it be nice and strong. So I don't want to do anything that's going to injure it right now. I had enough of that. Feel the core work. Feel your obliques work here. Also work in your chest, arms. And major core from your toes, from your knees, you're still feeling it right there. Do you feel that? And that's fine. I like that move. Okay, flip it on over. I like it better probably when I can do it up on my toes, but I like seeing that doing it on the knees is effective. Okay, so let's hit the glutes. Bring the heels way in, drive the hips up, holding a heavier weight up over my chest. Bring it over my head, pulling it up. Now, think about pulling the belly button to the spine here. You've got the glutes working, the hamstrings working, your quads, your core, your rectus abdominis, which runs right up and down. And I bet, if you think about it, your obliques, which are on the side and kind of on the side of the front, that you feel them work right there. Feel that? It's just what a total body compound strength workout does. It hits everything. Almost there. The bird dog next. Bird dog crunch. Just a lot of fun. Good. Let's get the weight down. Flipping it back on over. Fish out of water here. Flip, flip, flip. I'm going to have hands and knees. Knees are right under the hips. Bird dog position. So one arm up, opposite leg. We're going to crunch in, pull the belly button tight, and extend. So you're getting glutes and Abs, ready? Crunch it. Extend it. Take this slow. Pull the belly button tight. Ab work done slowly is the most effective way to work them. Don't want to be speeding through your ab work or planking, holding the abs tight. It's another number one effective way. You don't want to be doing a lot of fast movements. And you get cardio. It's cardio enough. All the body parts moving in the arm that's holding us up as you're shaking. I don't know if you can see mine, but it's shaking, shaking, shaking. <laughs> I'm going to shake it out. Deep breath. Feel that? Cardio. Love it. Get it on the other side. <sighs> Loving the break. Loving the fact that we're almost done. You ready? Here we go. Crunch it and reach, squeeze the glute. Feel that? Love it. Feel my body work. It's tired. Muscles are burning. So I know I'm creating change. Changing these muscles. 
making them stronger. Stronger muscles increase your metabolism. So you burn more calories while you sleep. Like that, like that. And rest. Okay. And get on over. Make sure we're on the right exercise as far. I made it without my missing one. Right. I'm gonna take my hands, put them underneath that my glutes. Just making a support shot. We are going to crunch in, but you're gonna crunch at an angle. And kick straight. Crunch at an angle. Now I am not real strong here, so bring the knees at an angle, kick them out straight. Crunch at an angle, out straight right in those lower obliques. A different angle here. And this is a compound move because we've got a lot of core muscles working, but it is maybe a little less compound than everything we've done. But I really want to finish strong with these abs. I want to make sure this is a good ab workout sprinkled through this compound strength. And I bet they're burning. Are they burning? Are they? And Oh, we made it. We made it. Reach your hands high over your head. Smile, because it's over. Almost, we're gonna do a nice stretch. Deep breaths. Now take your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug in case that hasn't happened yet today. Love yourself. You're so worth the work you just did. You really are. And if you do the work, you're just better at everything else. So Taking care of yourself first is not selfish. Take that leg up. It is the best thing that you can do to live a wonderful life. God gave you one body. You've got one body that you need to take care of. I think we forget that. You're missing the end. Roll it down. That's all we got. You can't trade it in. I want you to roll with this. Reach away. Touching the bicep, front of the shoulder, the chest, deep breaths, feel good. And roll it on your back, kick the legs out again. Notice that the side you just worked is much more relaxed. So we need a lateral stretch on that side. So we just did our stretching there. Now we're going to do the stretching here. And get that leg up. I watched a, when I was just starting out with my soup cans, actually, Denise Austin, do you remember her? <laughs> You're my age, you probably do. Bring the knee in, lay the leg down. And it was a kind of a cardio strength. Uh, they were using five pound dumbbells, I think. And the, there was a gentleman in it, he was using eight pounds, so that's how I started. And she said in this video, she said, God gave you one body. And that really stuck with me. So I'm saying that to you. You have one body. It's been gifted to you. It's where you came into this world, and it will be how we go out. You don't get a do over. Reach. So, taking this half an hour a day to care for your body is a good thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Come up on your hands and knees. Because we want to be here and healthy for as long as possible. Round and flatten your back here. That's kind of the key. I want to live a super long life, reach through, I hope I do. And I want it to be healthy. I want my body to be as strong as it possibly can at every age. Come on up, let's go to the other side, reach through. So if you're just starting exercising, wherever your age is at, you're only going to improve your body and your life moving forward. I didn't start until I was 38. I mean, I exercise on and off, let's do your glutes. But in earnest, you know, a couple years later, I really had the bug and I became a group exercise instructor and then a personal trainer and lots of other certifications reach out. But that was when I was 40. It was 20 years ago. It's so hard to believe. But I feel like if I hadn't done this for the past 20 years, right, where would I be? And whether you're starting at 40, 50, 60, just know the next 20 years of your life 
We want to be better for it. Not for each other. And if this is really, really hard, you know, I, have, I have clients, I coach clients now virtually, and I'll say, gosh, it's so hard, I'm not good at that, you know, they get discouraged. If you're sitting here with me right now, however you got here, I am very proud of you, okay? Because it takes work. This isn't easy. You have to practice like anything, right? You're not gonna be great at this as you start out. Just know that if you join me each day, you're gonna get better and better and stronger and stronger. And that's what I want for you, for your life. Okay, on that note, have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.